Hey everyone, welcome to Pai's Kitchen. Today we are going to make chicken lettuce wrap. Now the inspiration of this dish came from Peking duck. So you know how when you go to a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, you order Peking duck, it's only the skin and then they take the meat and turn it into a lettuce wrap. So I really like that lettuce wrap and I wanted to find a way to recreate those flavors at home without having to go through the process of ordering a Peking duck. And then I came up with this recipe, which I have to say is just as good, if not better than the duck version. So let's get started. So this dish is actually really easy. It's just a simple stir fry, but the sauce is what's key. So I've got here some oyster sauce, and to this I'm gonna add some soy sauce. Now this is actually not the Thai soy sauce that you see me use on Hot Thai Kitchen. Um, this is the Filipino soy sauce that I use for my chicken adobo. And again, what I want is that darker, richer flavor. You can of course use Chinese soy sauce, and just Thai soy sauce is a little bit light for what I'm going for. Hoisin paste. Now, now, I say hoisin paste because that's sort of what it says on the jar and it's a little thicker than hoisin sauce. If you have hoisin sauce, you can use hoisin sauce, just use maybe a little bit more than what I'm using. And if you don't know what hoisin sauce is, I like to describe it as a sweet Chinese barbecue sauce, basically. So it's got a really nice, rich, sweet flavor and we won't need to add any more sugar. Next is my Thai side coming through. I am adding a little bit of tamarind because I feel that the acidity really brightens up everything. And sesame oil, toasted sesame oil adds a beautiful nutty aroma. Oop, not too much. That's iconic of a lot of Chinese and Japanese dishes. And then since this is really thick, thin it out a little bit with water so it's easier when I pour it, not too much. There you go and a touch of white pepper, just to give it a subtle heat. You don't have to make this spicy, but I am going to make it spicy because I like it like that, by adding just a touch of chili flakes. And this is just chili flakes that I have at home, uh, roasted chili flakes made by Thai dried chilies. There you go, that's about good. I just want just a little bit. And you can use whatever spicy. You can even add chopped jalapeno in the mix. So anything that's relatively neutral in flavor and has spiciness. All right, that's the sauce. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook everything in the wok. So I've got a wok here, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna start by sauteing our aromatics, and that is some onion, some chopped garlic, and some finely, finely minced ginger. And I'm gonna just cook this until the onions are translucent, just to get all those flavors infused into the oil, soften the onion a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the key flavor of this dish, and that is five spice powder. Now five spice powder, you can buy from the store, or I have a recipe for it too, if you wanna grind your own fresh. Ooh, give it a few seconds to toast to bloom all those spices. Oh, smells so good. And now in goes the chicken. So I'm using ground chicken. You can do ground turkey, got duck, even better. Now your biggest job is to try to get the lumps out of this ground chicken. Sometimes I find adding a little water helps loosen it a bit. There you go, because chicken is so lean. If you're using like ground pork or something a little fattier, or even ground chicken that's not as lean as this one, it'll be easier to spread it apart. Okay, so once you no longer have big clumps, I wanna add the sauce when the chicken is still sort of undercooked to allow the chicken to really absorb the sauce. Ooh, looks good. Okay. Nice, beautiful color. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my vegetables. So I've got two types of vegetables that I'm using and I want crunchy, crunchy. That's what these veggies are for. Some carrots, dice, and also for some color. And some water chestnuts, which is pretty classic when it comes to lettuce wrap. I just used canned water chestnuts because I couldn't find fresh. If you can find fresh, go for it. If you don't like water chestnuts, I find that for this, you don't really taste them. It's all about texture. But if you don't want to use water chestnuts, you can do jicama. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit to make this color really dark because usually when it's made with duck, duck meat is so much darker. 
So I'm gonna add black soy sauce, which is always my weapon when I want that dark, rich brown color without adding a whole lot of um, saltiness. You can do dark soy. Mmm. All right, I like the color of that. Now what I wanna do is let this cook. I'm gonna crank the heat so it's high. And I wanna drive out the liquid that's pooling at the bottom. So I really wanna crank the heat and dry all of that off. That's looking good. You don't need, like, just a few seconds. You don't need to make it super dry, but just so, you know, it's not pooling. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of a cornstarch slurry. And basically, I mix some cornstarch with some water, and this will help bind the sauce. And so any sauce that's pooling at the bottom will be coating the chicken. And adding a little bit of cornstarch slurry will help the viscosity of the sauce. Mmm, now that's looking good. You see how now the sauce is thick and you don't have any pooling? Perfect. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna throw in some green onions. So now at this point, I'm gonna taste it. Always wanna make sure you taste your food. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, I'm happy with that. Lettuce choices. I think iceberg lettuce is the best for this. It's a classic lettuce for lettuce wrap because you want that crisp crunchiness that's refreshing, that's gonna contrast with the chicken. So don't go with anything soft and limpy, you know, not green leaf lettuce or anything like that. If you wanna make sort of appetizer size, you can use um, Belgian endive and put the chicken in those individual leaves. That's cute as well. We're gonna add a little bit of hoisin sauce to every wrap. Because this is hoisin paste, it's very thick. I'm just gonna dilute it with a little water. And if your hoisin sauce is already quite loose, then you don't have to do this. I'm gonna use this piece. I find the softer leaves are a little easier because it's easier for you to fold it over. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the hoisin sauce on the leaf. And this will give moisture and a little extra flavor and our filling. Ooh, it's still warm. Some toasted white sesame seeds. I'm gonna just shake on a little bit. Oh, so cute. And I think I can do this in one bite. Mmm. So good. I love the contrast between the warm filling and the cold, crisp lettuce. So flavorful, you can really taste the five spice and the sesame oil and the hoisin sauce. And the crunchiness from the water chestnuts and the carrots just add a lot of textural contrast. It's just a really fun thing to do. And if you have guests over, this is actually a, an easy thing for you as a host. Just put out a bunch of stuff and then, you know, guests just kind of take care of it on their own. So I hope you give this a try. Such a fun, fun thing to do. And you can make a whole bunch of this. And this will last you a long time because iceberg lettuce, another thing that's good about it is that it lasts in your fridge for quite some time. So you can have it for tomorrow for you know the next three days if you want it to. So the recipe will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, don't forget to send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And subscribe to the show if you haven't done so so you never miss an episode. And I will see you next time for your next delicious adventures.